we are at the um, Mishnah, I believe. Mishnah Okay? Sarsha Khulin Shnafa Tok Isa. You have sourdough of Khulin, which fell into a dough. The ace book de Lachamit. And it has enough uh, uh, power, has enough wherewithal to ferment the dough. The Chakon Nava Sarsha Truman afterwards there fell their sourdough of Truma. Osha Kiliakarim or Sourdough Kiliakarim, which is forbidden. The Yesh Bokadei Lechamit said it has enough uh, power to also ferment. Also, so I say that it's forbidden. In other words, the second uh, the second dough to fall in there, the second sourdough to forbid to fall in there is what forbids it. Now this is talking about where it hasn't yet fermented at the time that the second dough falls in. So obviously in the fermenting process, the second dough will contribute and make it uh, fermented and therefore it's also. However, if the uh, the uh, the um, the um, the um, the um, the um, the um, the first dough fell in already caused the process to occur, the ray did ferment and rise. The Chakam Nova Social Truma then afterwards fell in the Sourdough of Truma or Social Kiliakarem or the Sourdough of Kiliakarem. The Kilahim Vyeshbo Kilahim it itself has enough to ferment. Nonetheless, uh, according to Tanakama, it's an ulcer. With the way the Bad Yushami will explain is that Tanakama with no St. Tom of Kam is ulcer. Even if something gives a negative taste, it's still prohibited. Rabbi Shimon Mata, Rabbi Shimon permits this. Rabbi Shimon says the Nosei Tam of Gam is Mutter. Now this is going to be, uh, 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 that's going to be the Ushamish Pshat. The Bavli gives a different shot. The Bavli, he brings down here from Avodazar, uh, Tavsam Ches. This is me says that the reason in this case why it's also according to Tanakama, even though it was, a, it was already fermented, and this is, seems to be Nosei Tam of Gam, is because there is no Satan of God by sourdough. Because by sourdough, if you have a very sourdough, what do you do with it? What would you do with it? No. Well, what would you do with it? You'd use it as a starter for other doughs. You'd use it, in, it to, to cause other doughs to rise. So therefore, it has an advantage in that it, 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 uh, it, it it's called, becomes a starter. So therefore, it's not Nositam of Gam in the classic sense. Nositam of Gam means it's not usable or degraded in this in this way, shape, or form. But here, it's still usable, not perhaps as food, but as starter, and that's good enough. And therefore, he, he Tanakam holds that that even though it's Nositam of Gam, since it gives it the power to be sourdough for other for other um, mixtures, so therefore that already makes it also okay. What yeah, if the case, the second case, it started to ferment, but it only went to one third of the And then he threw it in? Yeah. I don't know if there's a shear for, for minimum shear for it. There probably is, but I don't know what it is. There probably is. I don't know what it is. But you're right, there probably is a shear for minimum fermenting. It's a good question. I don't know. Tanya. Says more. Tanya Hanani Bishem Rabbi Yochan. Now the way Chanani named Nei Rabbi Yochanan, that even the first case of Mishnah was a subject of the Machlokas. Rabbi Shimon and Rabbanu would argue about the case where the the, the doughs fell in, and uh, and neither of them had yet created chametz. So nonetheless, Rabbi Shimon would still be mighty in that case, uh, and Rabbi Rabbanu would answer. And that's uh, the the, uh, the 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 lingo they use in order to explain our shemitz had to be zevazagori mutter, where there are two catalysts for a certain process. So I consider it as when one of them is a mutter catalyst, and I consider it okay. Here it's zevazagori both iser, excuse me, and the hefer contribute. Right? If they both felt the same, if they uh, if they both fell before the fermentation occurred, so both are contributing to the fermentation. That's the ratio. So they both contributing to fermentation. One can make the argument that Zev Zagorin, they're both involved, and Zev Zagorin might be Mutter. That's how the, uh, that, uh, or, uh, that's how Rabbi Shim would say. Whereas Rabbi would say Zev Zagorin is ulcer. Okay? That way it could be caused to the ulcer, uh, uh, sourdough participate in the process. Um, Rabbi Yenna, Rabbi Yenna said, Havin Savin Mary wanted to say, Mapligin, 
when is there machlokas kashachim etzeb kol kochol? When this one kid did the kol fermented with all its might, kind of like Shabbos, right? Vizek kol kochol, and it's like zani yochol zani yochol. Each one used to all their power, right? Menof al soar shochulin tchila, and in that case, the soar shochulin, the sourdough chulin fell first. Avli menof al soar shol truma. Tchila, but what happens if the sour, the sourdough of truma fell first, and the, before the oh, oh no, not first here. I'm sorry. So first by me, me, means. Let me start that over again. I'm Rabbi Yerbeer. Said I've been sorry. My wife to say, "My plea. When is there a machlokas? B'shechim et zekocho, zekocho. Both the isra and eter are fully fermenting. V'naf al sorshel chulin tchila and the dough and the sourdough chulin fell first. Then it's machlokas." Aval, however, enough al sor shall 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 truma tchila. But if the 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 sourdough of truma fell first, then far nech nischamtza is isa. Then the dough already became fermented. Then I think I have it wrong. <laughs> Shame, Hashem, the power of strength. That's what you got to do. It's a shadayim. It's like a lower limit. Yeah, I have it wrong. Let me do it over again. All right, here, I've been serving Maymar. I want to say, by map, map, again. Where's the Malchus of Shem Rabbi Yehuda? Kshachim made zeh kol kocho v'zeh kol kocho. When each was in the sefer of the Mishnah, when each one was mechamet in all its might, the nof al sor shel tchul and tchila, and but the only one. Uh, it's much easier than I made it out to be. But he's just explaining the Mishnah the way we explain the Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda. You say in in the sefer. Where there is a machlokas, we talk about where each one contributed, uh, each was fully, fully uh, uh, fermenting, fully fermenting. You got there first, right? But nonetheless, chachomim all no se tam of gam is also no se tam of gam is also yeah, and therefore they also right. No se tam of gam is also. Now, Rabbi Shimon argues. Shimon knows no zitam v'kam is mutter. That's in the Mitzvah. Avol, however, in the Reisha, the nafal shul soar shul truma tchila. Now tchila is not literal here, because the soar shul truma did not fall first. What happened in the Reisha is the, the regular stuff. Tchila means it fell before the fermentation process was complete. That's what it means. Then the 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 it it becomes part and parcel of the fermentation process. Not that it was already fermented, and it's also so basically saying it outside again. Rabbi Yonah is saying in the sefer each one is contributing in its turn the full force necessary to ferment. And since the first one to ferment was the regular uh, sourdough, and then only afterwards the also sourdough. So that's we have a machlokas Rabbi Shimon and Rabbana. Rabbi Shimon holds no, uh, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Yehuda really. Rabbi Shimon holds not uh, Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Shimon holds no sitam l'shvach is the criterion. No sitam l'vkam is oser. I'm sorry. No sitam l'shvach is oser. No sitam l'vkam is mutter. So therefore, in this case, it's no sitam l'vkam, and, and therefore it's mutter because initially when the chulin fell in, it already fermented. This is additional fermentation. It's problematic. It's a, it's not going to answer. That's Rabbi Shimon's opinion because it makes it even worse. Rabbanu knows the time of kamas also. So even though now it's, it tastes worse, nonetheless, uh, the bottom line is that we say that it uh, continues to be now in this case 
Mutter because it's no same time. I lost my train of thought again. Well, it's still nursing time of God, and it comes work on it. It's also, it's also. Now, the ratio, though, each, neither of them had yet contributed the full, the full Isser, right? Neither of them have contributed the full Isser yet. Right. It's not yet fermented. So, therefore, I say in that case, everybody agrees. Even Rabbi Shimon agrees that it's also. Why? Because at the time that the also, sour dough is working its impact on the dough. It's not yet no sin time of come, and therefore at that point it still answers it. Okay? That's his Gemara. Now, Kol no sin time, Ben Livgam, Ben Lishvach, also, the Remeir. Remeir says, any no sin time, whether it's Lishvach or Livgam, answers. Rabbi Shimon Remeir, Lishvach, also, if it gives a good taste, it's also. Livgam gives a negative taste, it's Mutter. Now this will go immediately relevant to what we were discussing previously. Where's Machlokish Kshish Pogam? If it first became Shvach and then it became Pagam. Okay? Pogam but it became Pagam first and then only afterwards it became positive. After I may Modi, even my mayor agrees that that's not considered to be an Isser. Okay? Because it never had a time when it's fully ulcer. Rabbi Yochromar lo shani he ben ben yishbiach he pogam he pogam he mishbiach doesn't matter what comes first if it's shvach and then pogam or pogam and then shvach he machlokas the machlokas maintains maintain across the board. Tamot tamot you learnt over there. Sorim shenoflu toch bar shemaim if you have barley which falls into a well of water. Avol bishivi shu meimov. Even though at first it's those the time of God, the water starts getting all occluded and bad and all that. Nonetheless, Mema Mutar and the water of the well is Mutar. Well, Adam has Nisa Mai. In this case, it's first no Sintam Lifgam and then it's no Sintam Lishvach afterwards. This price, so what do you do with it? Rabbi Yochum, our Machlokas, Rabbi Yochum says it's subject of Machlokas. Right? Because the, the, obviously, this is a case of first Lishvach and then Lifgam, so this would be the subject of a Machlokas. Right? As Rabbi Yochum says. It's Kamla Lishvach. Doesn't matter. That's Rabbi Yochan said. I'm sorry. When it says, first, even when it's first come and then shvach, then Rabbi Yochanan says it's machlokas. He says it's machlokas regardless of what comes first and what comes second. Shemelokas shemarti ve'akor. Shemelokas says this going coin everybody because Shemelokas shows always that from when it's first no sin time of gam and then no sin time of shvach, then even Rabbi Meir concedes that it's mutter. Okay. Fermenting process is it possible that it would be first gone and then shvach. Yeah, certainly it's possible. Right. And the other way around as well. Yeah. Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Avonomar, Ilan Shmuasa. These are not actual uh, statements which Ra, which Rav and Rabbi Yochan have made. But these are inferences. Shmosa literally means a rumor. But these are inferences made by the members of base Medrash. In Shmosa, the Rabbi, this is, these are Shmosa, these are inferences which are made. Rabbi Yochamar Machlokas, Rabbi Yochamar says Machlokas, and Rabbi Shimon says Divrei Akol. By a case of, uh, he should be, uh, um, by the case of programs of Achachach Hishbiach, that what's the status is. That Rishlaki shows. Okay, everybody agrees. Rishlaki shows. Everybody agrees by where it's first lifgam and then a shvach that it's also. That it's mutter. Rishlaki shows that everybody agrees when it's first lifgam and then lifgam it's mutter. And Rabbi Yochanan holds a machlokis whether first lifgam and then the shvach is mutter or not. So it says Gemara. I'm Rabbi Yehuda, and Rabbi Yehuda said, Tzurcha la'adad Rabbi Shimon Lakish. We need to understand that which Rabbi Shimon Lakish said, because it's a little bit difficult. Lokein sovereign meimar, that we're not, why is it difficult? Because we're not want to say in the Sefer of our Mishnah. Ma pligein, that when's the mouth locus, kusher choymet shul zekos, kusher choymet zekos, kusher choymet zekos, 
Vizekokoho, when each one gave the full strength um, for fermentation. And the sourdough of Chulin fell first. But if the sourdough true fell before the process was complete, then the dough is already risen, already fermented. And even if sort of chulin of regular stuff fell first, not so kamishish biyavar karkak pogam. It becomes as if not so kamishish biyavar karkak pogam. This become like something where it's first shavach and then pogam. Now, what does it mean? It means that originally, what does the chulin same as it did? Same as it did before, before it fully fermented. One second. Awesome. Explain you what the question I raised Lakish is. What's the question Rish Lakish? Let me start from Rabbi Yonah again. I'm Rabbi Yonah. Tzurcha. We have the Hadad of Eishlum and Lakish. We have to understand what Rish Lakish said. Lakish and Savi Meimar. Do we not think the same? Ma pli and what's the machlokus in the safe of our Mishnah? Kshechim et zeko kocho v'zeko kocho, where each one gave the full strength of the of the uh, of the uh, fermentation. And the the the, the, the sourdough of chulin fell first, and it fermented. But it would stand to reason the exact opposite is true as well. If the sourdough of chuma fell first, so 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 that already causes the 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 fermentation process to occur, and therefore the the ferment it should be also right. If the truma fells falls first, and that generates the fermentation process, so it should be also right. Says the Gemara, okay, true. But vafilu naf al social is a tchila, i shal shochul in tchila. But it, it lets it, it should be also even the other direction. Even if the sour of chulin, even if the sourdough of chulin falls first, nasek mishish biach mei korov akarkach pogam. It's no better than saying where it was first shvach and afterwards pgam. And where it's first shvach and, uh, and afterwards pgam. It is a machlokas. So what's the problem? Let's be to me, I forgot. It's Nasek Mishish Biach Farcharka Mekor Vacharka Pogam. Are you going to say that it's his first Shvach and then Pogam? Means it's like this. I don't know why I have so much difficulty with this. Means it's like. Yeah. Right. But Rishlaki says like this. Rishlaki says that the reason why, when first it's a, the, the, there's a Machlokas, when first he's Biach and then Pogam, uh, there's a machlokas when it's biach of so pogam, right? Now, the, me, the, if it's pogam so biach, if it's pogam so biach, everybody agrees it's mutter. If when it falls and creates, according to Rish Lakish, the first, excuse me, first when it falls and it's pogam, and then it becomes shvach, then it becomes good. Once it became pogam, everybody agrees it's okay. Even if later on it ferments it to a better state, 
nonetheless now it, once it went and fell down it became Bartel as no Satan of Khan remains always no Satan of Khan it remains always Mutter even though later on it becomes no Satan of Shvach that's according to everybody. But what about the opposite case, like Morris said, where it's no Satan of Shvach first, and then afterwards it comes no Satan of Gam. So that Rish Lakish said to Mach Lokas. Says more, okay, fine. That's what you want to say. But I don't still understand how in the safe of our mission to be a Mach Because what in the safe of our mission are we talking about? First, a full measure of. Chulin fell in and made it fermented. And then a full measure of Truma or Kilea Ker fell in and made it fermented. And that we have a Machlokas. We better show Mach, we have a Machlokas on that. When was it ever nice to Tamla Shvach? But that was when it was Chulin. The moment the Truma fell in, what started occurring? Come. So where's the shvach? The whole point is that where first the shvach and then it's the gam. So then it's machlok is fine, but that's not the case in the sefer. The case in the sefer is first it was complete under the chulin, and then when you put the truma in, it's begam. Because it starts off being negative. So where, wh- how in the safe was there Havamina? That's a machlokas. Should be also outright. That it's mutra outright. Excuse me, mutra outright. There was never a time when the Isra was nursed in time l- 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 the, the started the fermentation process. Yes. And the truma comes. Oh, that's how Rishlokish can learn. That's true. But that's not what it says in the Mishnah, because the Mishnah says, Right. That would talk to be there. So the way to read the Gemara is, You're going to read the Mishnah that's all about case there. First Rishlokish and then it's Begam. How can that be? It should be Begam all the way. Why should we come all the way? Because when the truma starts falling in, it by definition has come at that point. Okay? Chaz Rabbi Yehna Umar. Rabbi Yehna came and wanted to answer. Umar is like, Oh, Umar. He wanted to say, Maybe it's a little bit like you said. A woman who makes dough. Ena Machmet is called Tzorko. She doesn't fully ferment it on the first shot. She leaves like a 1% non-fermented. Meshayer has Koshu. She leaves something over. Also Koshu. Yasek Mishish Bilch Sopogam. That little bit which she leaves over, that's the case. And then, of course, the, the truma sourdough falls in. So that's the point at which it's much beyond and then afterwards pogam. Says Mara, that blue, 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 blue. Are you think it's a good answer, right? Mara gives the Babatish refutation. Where it says, Kasha, Ilish, Biach, Vulo, Pogam, Shema, Klumu. If at that point it's much beyond and not a pogam, true. But is that significant? In other words, if she leaves over 1%, which hasn't yet been fully fermented, and now you throw in something which is equivalent to another 100% of fermenting, so 1% was necessary. 99% is not. That 1% which is necessary is not bought in the robe, which is not necessary. Or in the robe of Chulin, which was originally used, or it's so insignificant amount that you can't determine the halacha based on that insignificant amount. That's what I want to say. I see you don't like the, the refutation. You like the answer better. All right, fine. Rabbi, it's, it's a little bit like you said, not exactly the same thing, though. I mean, throws in kind of like a human element. That a woman leaves over a little bit to uh, doesn't fully uh, ferment it the first time around. Okay, Rabbi Yoni boy. Rabbi Yoni asked. Rabbi Yoni asked. Now a lot of girls have mess up from here to the Mishnah. Ma ben shochach shevach mizel mizel. What's the difference if they both contributed? You have the the sourdough of iser heter and sourdough of iser. 
and they could they together they comprise the fermentation catalyst because each one by itself is too weak to do so. What's in Shindaru Ma Bem Gam Pogamizemiz? What's if it's where the two of them create the gam? In other words, they're so strong that each one could do it on its own, yet now we're taking the two of them and doing it together. So says the Gemara, Shevach Mizem we said if both of them create Shevach together in other words, each one on its own is insufficient. Eat both them together. So then, it should be mutar. It's permissible. This is actually all part of the question. It's mutar. Why is it mutar? That's what Moore is asking, really. But Pagami Zemi said they both, each one could do it independently, and when you put them together, they're pagam, then it should be a sur. It's forbidden. What's the difference? Why is there a difference? On um, Rabbi Mona, so Rabbi Mona said, Shevach Mizemi said, if in order to, to, to make it work at all, you have to combine both both parts, Roe Kemisha Eno also Isser. It looks as if the Isser is non existent. Why is that? Because an Im E, it should be Ain. Im Ain Bokde Lesser. In other words, the Isser doesn't have enough power to Asser on its own. It's only in a partnership with the Heter. That we don't take into account. Right? Because what's the whole Isser being generated by? The fermenting, it can ferment, so it can ferment. So well, how can you possibly take it into account and say, oh, it's because of that? So it should remain mutter. However, pogam is there, is there. If each one by itself is powerful enough to, to ferment it, though. And now since you put them both together, it's a pogam. We, 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 we take that throughout, look as if it's not there. And also Isra and the Isra itself, it should be yesh day less or has enough to asser, and therefore the entire dough becomes awesome. Okay? Tavlin. Similar question by Tavlin, by spices, by herbs. Shtayim ushloshe shemos. If you have two or three different types of, of herbs, with two or three, the same type of herbs would use for two or three different purposes. Some of them are truma, some of them are orla, some of them are kiliakarim, some of them are avoid Or, mishlosha, or they're from three different types of plant, even they're the same name. Also, they're forbidden with staff and they join together as well to make sure. If you have two or three similar families from the. Um, I can't where it works by, by, by botany. Phyla and. Uh, yeah, do you remember how they translate those terms? Anyway, if you have two or three. Uh, if you have two or three. Uh, uh, um, Different uh, prohibitions from the same min, or the two types of two two different types, but they come from the same min. They come from the same. Uh, they come from the same uh, prohibition. Still, aim at starfin. None of these things join together. Okay, so he's very machmer. Basically, doesn't let you use this. Um, yeah. Okay. Says more. I understand why two different prohibitions, such as truma kila karim, but they're both the face cinnamon. They're both mitzdarif. But shnei meaning mishem echad. But if you want to take cinnamon and sugar, not so cinnamon because of sugar, they're mitzdarif. Rav Ovishem Rilaza said we're talking about b'minei mesika shon. A very interesting answer. Says we're talking about spices used to make the pot more flavorful. So therefore, we look at all of them as being similar because they all make the pot more flavorful, even if they're not exactly the same. Okay? No, no. They both sweet, but they both sweet, but different types of taste. That's right. Yet, nonetheless, we lump them together. However, if there are three different types of taste, kosher head or tuf or any time the uh, uh, a simple person could taste it. Vomer, he says, I, I didn't emphasize. I vote in the regel the shlosha no seitami meim. The three cases of no seitam which he wants to discuss. The first one is kosher head yotomo. Anybody that's a simple person uh, taught a uh, uh, tasted. And Vaome he says, Kidei Razu Eina Chasera. And he says that this pot is not lacking anything. And then it should be Vinifkamzu. It became damaged. He, uh, uh, 
Mosoy v'nivkam becomes damage. Zui no sintam livgam muter. This is the case of no sintam livgam, and it's permissible. Okay, it says l'shvach and oser, which should be no sintam livgam and is muter. Now, what are we talking about? Why is it muter? Well, you want it sweet, and now the taste is being ruined. Yeah. Why is it being ruined? What's going? What's falling in there that's making it not top? Just top. Uh. uh well, one second. We're talking about a case. Koshed Yotamo, anything a simple person to a taste, and he says, This Kadera Enochasera is not lacking anything. And then something falls in. Venifgam or Venafal or Venifgam is another gear, so then something damages the ship. I say ship. Uh, this, the, 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 the. <laughs> then some. So. So. I can't come on, right? That's right. Did he, did he win? On the way of the year, they were asking the, uh, they were giving the things on the radio. Now, because they were doing a chaser, you say this damages the ship. Right? Then something falls in. Right? 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 The pot is not lacking anything. It means it's, it's perfect. Then usher pepper falls in. Okay, that's no sitam of gam and that's usher. Okay? So that's a typo here. It's not no sitam of shvach mutter, it's no sitam of gam and it's usher. It's not, I mean, no sitam of gam and it's, and it's, and, 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 that which you put in now, the pepper is also, but it's too much. So it's not a time of gum, and that's why it's mutter. There's no more focus here? No. Everybody holds that way. Oh, you mean with the tide of our Mishnah argue? Yeah, sure. But this is him speaking, wherever it is. Okay? I feel on my table employing the Yeshbik Deira Zoo. Now, this is a very big Kiddush. He says, let's say. I know it's very big. It's a continuation of the same principle. You say, oh, I can taste this pot that's the pepper, where there's too much pepper. And the pepper is the ulcer spice. So this should generally be the, like like we have the concept in the yard there, nikara iser. Ukar iser, you can tell what's the ulcer. So even if it's nice at the time of gum, it should still be ulcer. Because you can tell what the ulcer substance is, nonetheless. I feel on my time and place, but there's a who nice in time of gum. It still remains mutter. Even if you can identify which one it is, it still remains mutter. Okay? It's a big fish, right? Even though you can tell which one. And how, next one. The Khoshu Matom or anything which a, 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 a an expert, a, a chef or whatever, tastes. But I mean, it says, Tavlin Plony, a certain spice, ain't big rozu, is not in this kdera. Now, what, what does it mean? This is a case where there's too much pepper. But an expert chef comes and says, too much pepper. You know what, if you put in some sugar, it'll be okay. So it's now the pepper, and the time of shvach, and the time of gah. Right. There is no time of gah. Is it also or is it mutter? So that's what it says. 
need sugar to counteract the bad counterbalance the the, the the salt or the pepper in time of gum which is also in this case this time gum is also why because again you can fix it up very easily so even though right now it's not in time of gum it's regards being this and I'm going up. The, 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 the you want to make a distinction between a, a, a kosher person and a chef. Right. Oh, no, but it's only because the chef can tell what you can add and make it better. Since the chef can tell it, tell what you can add and make it better. So therefore, we assume that it's also. Awesome. In the first case, when it was a common person, maybe the chef could tell that it was, that it was lacking something. He, the common person said it wasn't lacking anything. Yeah. And then he also yeah. got the fellow. So what if the chef said it still wasn't, it wasn't lacking to begin with? It still wasn't what? I guess it wasn't. Yeah. He said it wasn't lacking anything. Yeah. But what if the chef said it was lacking? Okay, so we go by the chef. He's the expert. Yeah, no matter what, we go by the chef. No, because that's a partial thing anybody can tell, that it tastes bad or good now. It's the chef who knows given the eight The chef would have known to begin with, even before it was not lacking in the good. Right. Even the common person, that's a lowest. That's right, that's right, that's right, okay. Rehavom Shem Yelchan said, Kol Yisurin. All prohibitions of Torah Mashiach are so we reckon them. We want to reckon if we they're the bottle or not. Kilu bottle as if they're onion. Kilu kaflut or kaflut is another size spicy vegetable. I don't know exactly what it is, which which means you need sixty in modern terms. In other words, if your onion or your kaflut falls into your vessels, in order to count, you need sixty. So this is the way they said that you need sixty. Okay, that's good about stuff which normally can be reckoned based on its, you know, whether with tape, what is, and based on onion basis or a kaflut basis. However, which is more spicy, and there ever can it be compared to an onion or a kaflut, but mad time shower, how do you reckon the shear for it? Hakomun, cumin, but mad time shower, how do you reckon the shear for that? Um, Rabbi Yudah Rabbi Yudah said, Lo kena ma, Rabbi Yudah Hashem Rabbi Lozar. The Rabbi Yudah say the name Rabbi Lozar in our Mishnah. B'mina mesika shonu. We're talking, we can combine all sorts of spices if they're all for the point of sweetening the pot. Mina mesika, stuff which is, which is, sweetens the pot. Ayatei shi dark on lishtar bebatso kaflut. Since they are generally tantamount or akin to onion and kaflut. Mishayin aso kilu batso kilu kaflut. So therefore, we give it the same proportions as batso and kaflut. However, shali kurli surin. But anything else, such as cumin, shein darkon li shtare bivatsu v'kaflut, the normally normally not reckon being bounced off or uh, on the basis of onion and kaflut. Mishayin osaminim, you have to make an independent reckoning, and therefore I come on mishayin osamimino. When you want to have to reckon what the uh, the the cumin does, you have to make an independent reckoning. Rabbi Mona, Mona was the son of Rabbi Yonah, did not say this. Ella, rather say this. Look at him, Rabbi Yonah, and Rabbi Yonah say, I'm a Rabbi Lezer, but I'm a Rabbi Lezer. But me and I'm a Sikha Shana, when it comes to Sweden, the Bat, they all join together. Me and I'm a Sikha, what joins them together? Ayyadeh Shetam, on Shove, because they have the same taste. Not according to the original shot. The reason is because you normally get put them in the pot together. According to this shot, the reason why you put, that's why they all have the same share. According to this shot, the reason why they all have the same share is because you normally, well, not you normally, because they have the same taste. Okay, so me and Mesiko is a machlokas between the first shot and the second shot. What makes them join together? It's really semantics. The first shot holder is joined together because they all come sweet in the pot. So that's the derech, right? In this respect, they're similar to onions and kaflu, which also come sweet in the pot. In the second shot, the reason why all mean and mesikos mitzvah because they give a, a, a taste which is similar. They all have a similar taste, right? Onion and and uh, so now says the Gemara. What? 
Yeah. Right, which is similar to onion and similar to kaflu, right? Okay, that's fine. However, if that's the case, the shark right there is good. However, all these sorim, since they're all the same taste, so we don't know how to reckon them. So if that's the case, our common tzricho, what's common is a problem. What do we do with it? Now, it's quite to the first shot we go by anything which is normally applied to a pot, like like onions and 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 and, and, and kaflu. Which means all types of media masika. Common is different. It's unique. It's not applied to the pot the same way. We don't know what the halacha is. Now we're saying. Now we're saying that everything which has a similar taste is. Joined together, that's what Mine Masiko is. If that's the case, yeah, I'm just, man, I'm making this more confusing than necessary. Yeah. According to the first, for first opinion, so you go by whatever the normal derech is. And Botson Kafu, the normal are the normal derech, they're normally put into the spot. Pot to spice up like any other pot. When the second approach, you go by taste. A bottle and kaffel don't have the same taste as uh, spices and herbs. So therefore, we can't extrapolate one from the other. We can't extrapolate that the stuff which is mini masika is learned from bottle and kaffel. If so, if we can't even extrapolate that, it certainly leaves us in the lurch. We don't know what to do with... You know what to do with... No, with cumin. With Kamo. In the first shot, we could say, well, it's similar. It comes to sweeten a pot, right? And therefore, we can give it the same thing as Botso Kafu. No, we didn't do that. There's a pro- the problem is like, at least, uh, to have that night, we should be able to catch up my sleep, right? But the, the, the shot is like this. The first, the first shot is that pots and kaflut are different, and so it's common different because they're not used to sweeten the pot. They don't use onions. They didn't have minced onions in the old days. They didn't have onion powder. They used to cook onions. So since they're not cooked, so therefore they have a different shear. And common, of course, has a different shear. The second shot is no, that we go by taste, right? We go by taste. And therefore, onion, no, they do. Yes. Onion and kaflu taste the same like spices which go into the cholins. Or the spe- same spices which go into the, your soup. Yeah. They're not, they're not used as spices, but they taste the same as spices. So we may like can make them the similar in that respect. Now I don't know what to do with cumin. It's very good. According to first shot, according to Rabbi Yoino, so everything which is similarly used to mean a misiko is the same. Well, that that doesn't include bots and kaflut. So that means bots and kaflut are not mean a misiko. So certainly, what's his name is not is not mean a misiko. Come on, it's certainly not going to be like like uh, not like the mean a misiko, right? It might not, it's probably not even like Bots of a Kaflut, because it's not used the same like Bots of a Kaflut either. According to Rabbi Mona's shot in the Gemara, no, it's anything which has a similar taste. But all these things have similar taste. Bots of Kaflut or whatever herbs you use in your pot also have similar taste. That's the case. I don't know what to do with, with Kamo. Is it similar or is it not similar? Similar enough, not similar enough. I don't know. So we leave it up in the air. Okay? Let me just get another cup of coffee. Okay. Black and white. Black and white would be too color. Like blue and gold, you know, but something like that. Not for color. Okay, Rabbi Avob Hashem, Rabbi Avob Hashem, 
Rabbi Yochel, kol nos neitami, any which gives a taste, ain't like in our lamb. You don't get markers on them. Achi itom tam amoshe shaliser. This is a general, very fundamental principle. You only get malchus if you could actually have substance of viscer, not if you have taste of viscer. In other words, if you, uh, if you have, a, uh, 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 there's a pervasive taste of pig in your meat, so you don't get malchus for it. You have to have a kazayas of pig in order to get malchus, right? What about getting mushroom? Same thing, same thing. The one difference is boss of the meat doesn't have any milk in it necessarily, or not because I the milk, right? The end unless you get Malchus. The Kibla. So he accepted it. Says the Mara, the Kibla. Mao the I don't think he really accepts it. Kinish to Shama Mile the Baldine, it's somebody who hears something from a heckler, the Kibla, and accepts it silently. He didn't didn't agree. He didn't agree, he just uh didn't respond. But Basbukov as the Gemara says in Psachim is a Khidish and it's a special Khidish. And there the meat itself becomes the entirety of the Isser. But normally, in order to get an Isser, you have to have a substance of a gazayas. It's not enough just to have taste. Rav Rabbi Yohan said, Kol no si tamay, look in a lame, chutzi no si tam shal nazir. Rav Yohan wanted to say, any no si tam we don't get malchus on, except if it's no si tam shal nazir. If you have a taste of grapes, that in of itself is sufficient to give you a, uh, a nausea malchus, okay? Even if it's not a substance of grapes, taste of grapes is enough. Um, Rabbi Z, we're going to explain that. We'll explain that. Um, Rabbi Z, kol no si tam, any taste in lurkin a lame, not maloka, hachitom tam mamoshu shal iser. Until you taste literally the taste of the iser, right? The same idea. By nausea, even if you don't have a literal taste of the, the, the uh, you even don't have a, a taste of the substance, I should really say it. The substance of prohibition is still also. Yeah, we pass like this. Pass an amazing thing by, by nausea. Pass, let's say you soak bread in wine. So the bread is mitzdarev to the wine. And it makes up the kazais. Normally you never say that. You sow bread and pig juice, it wouldn't be considered pig. It's only by wine. We're going to learn it. It's a custom. Okay? Masisa Messiah Ledein. I'm sorry. Roy Roy Bob our memo. Kol no si tami eni servet and mitzdarfin. By any, this is what we're about to see. By, and by all, by all his surim, the isr and hetter don't join together. The bread doesn't join together with the pig juice. Of a nausea servet and mitzdarfin. Okay, so we have two different shati by nausea. One shot by nausea is that you're like on the time, even without the ikr. The other shot by nausea is, of course, you need, it, you need to have substance. But you don't have the substance of grapes. You can have the sub exclusively. You can have the bread or something else be mitzdarev to the grapes. Okay, masisa masayla day. There's one bride which goes like one of them. Masisa masayla day. Another bride which goes like the other one. Masisa masayla day. There's a bride which goes like one. Lulu rabbi zero. Masisa masayla rabbi zero. Kazais yain shnofel kadeira. You have a kazais of wine which fell into a pot. Achim met a kazais potter. If you ate a kazayas from the mixture, you're exempt. Until you eat the entire sub, until you eat the entire pot. Once you eat the entire pot, you're chayv. The nausea, of course, is chayv. Um, no, you have to taste it. The point is, you eat the entire kazayas. You need the entire kazayas. Look, I'll die to write Bob our memo. There's not like write Bob our memo because we're going to write Bob our memo. Came and chugged a man of kazayas chayv. Once he had any kazayas, you're chayv. Well, I couldn't write Bob our memo even want any kazayas because he holds the head there joins up with the iser. So therefore, you need one kazayas of it. It's already enough, right? But according to Rabbi Zira, which the price is going like, that's me. You, this is I say this for itself, right? So therefore you need the entire thing. Now, now this is still time of Loma Mosho. Because the wine is absorbed into the uh, whatever's in the pot, right? 
So it, it's not like any other is in the Torah except Basar Bukhola, Tam Ovalom Amoshol, you don't get Malkus on. Here the Tam is like Mamish by Nazir. Okay? So that's the uniqueness of Nazir. But a word like Rabbi Barbar Memo, you wouldn't even need a Kazayas of the wine. All you need a Kazayas of is anything from the mixture. Okay? Masisa Misaila Rabbi Barbar Memo is another price because Rabbi Barbar Memo. We mash with Shnemar for that, which it says, the Chomishrasa Novin Lishta, anything so, anything, uh, anything which is a, a, a literally Mishras means, uh, uh, something which is soaked, right? But, uh, I don't even know if that's literal, but that's how the Gemara is going to translate it. Anyway, we'll see. Mash with Shnemar, Chomishrasa Novin Lishta. Any any mishras and you shouldn't drink. It says that by another. Chimani achakosish lohamur. What's the puzzle coming? That's like a a, a a reboy. But it matches everything. It matches the pits. It matches the sea. The 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 the, the skin it matches the grapes. So what's the puzzle getting here? Elafish and emar b'chol mikol shayasim gevan ayin mechal tzoni v'adzog. It says everything made from the wine from the pits. To the skin for your child, you shouldn't eat. Miyayim v'sheri yazir should refrain from wine and any intoxicating beverage. Matam lor chomish sanovim leishda. Why did it say chomish sanovim? So there's a big typo. It should be say. It should say. I don't know why he changes it. Actually, oh, forget about the typo. Let me read the way it says here. El shim shora novim v'shora pito bohem. If you soak the 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 grapes. And soak your bread in them. The H bring the Tsar bin Kazai, it's Chaiv, and you have a Kazai to join the two, uh, the two of them, you're Chaiv. That's what Mishras means, anything soaked, right? So that's Rabbi Babar Mammal's chat. That the bread becomes part and parcel of this, and becomes also. Mikanatadan Chai Surin Shabbatayra. Now, this is a little bit flawed, because we don't pass him like this. Okay, because it sounds like you show me, I could say, Hepta Mitzvah, listen in the entire time, we don't learn that way. Okay? We can't tell down the Holy Spirit in Shabbat Torah. Well, my, my, you're eating me now, for you to learn out to anything else in Torah. My, my, you're eating me now, get it. If that which comes out of the wall, the, the grapevine, Shane is really stolen, which is not a permanent Isser. Why? Because how long does the New Year's last? Generally only 30 days, so it's not a permanent Isser, right? The, Veni Suris or no, and it's not also by no, no, it's allowed to derive benefit from grapes, it's just not allowed to drink them. VH Loetta Lachi Sur, and it can be Matthew Netter on his Isser, right? And get out of it. Also, both Tom Kieker, unless we say Tom Kieker. Now, not just Tom Kieker, right? Not just that the taste is like Dicker, but also according to Rabbi Bob our memo, that Hetzer's Mitzvah Isser, right? Shakli Surish and Batara, any other is in Torah, she is certain Israel in which are complete Isur. The Isur is not possible that some of them at least are also by no as well. Vain Lukha in Lam Hetar Akhri so you can't be matter none of them. Ain't no dinchinasa but Tam Kiko, let's say Tom is like Ikor. So we can't learn the Khachov for your Khachovi learn that cold nice time is Shay Surin. Every time, nice and time is also. Now again, nice and time doesn't mean no and time means that doesn't mean time for listener. So that's what he's asking. The Kasha Rabbi Zira, that's the case of difficult Rabbi Zira. Because our Omer at Shaito, Rabbi Zira said all over in order to get Malchus, what do you have to do? You have, you have to have Mamish, the, the, not just the taste, but also the substance. The one exception to that rule is nausea. And here we're saying, the car my few low time here say if you don't have a full taste of Isser, even if all you have is the bread together with the wine, the have itself is you. So the Ushami doesn't answer that, but that's in fact where we paskin. We do paskin that dichotomy. We paskin that by wine, the heter is mitzvah for Isser, by all the other similar that there's not mitzvah to this sir, what else, what rather do you have to have? You have to have the substance, a kazayas worth of the iser. The one exception is by Bosa Bukhalov. Okay? Sor Shulchulin Vishal Truma. You have uh, sourdough of Chulin and of Truma. Shinovo Tochis, which fell into a pot, uh, into a dough. Lo Bezekadeh Lechamitz, Lo Bezekadeh Lechamitz. Neither of them can create chametz. Neither of them is strong enough. Okay, so that's the case we had before. Zelishvach and Zelishvach, right? We start with him, so now they join together. They made the uh, they they fermented. And bless them, are achar achar anybody. Let's just go off the last one which fell in. 
because that completed the process, and therefore that's what we look at. Cholim it doesn't matter. Whether whatever the Isra fell beginning of from first to last, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is that neither one by itself could create the Isra, right? So therefore, the Isra never asks unless it has enough to make Chometz on its own. Okay? So that's the way we pask it. It doesn't matter which fell first or second. As long as one of them, by its, the Isra by itself, is not strong enough, it's like, it's not, it, it doesn't answer. Okay? But, not like Shabbos, right? Yoezer Isha Bira, Yoezer Isha Bira was in charge in the base on Mikdosh. Hayam Itamide Bisha, uh, Tamine Beis Tamdida Shami. He was a student of Shami, of Shami himself. Farmer said, "Nonetheless, Shalti is from Gamliel. I asked from Gamliel Zokin, who was from Beis Hill, of course. I made Bishar Mishar Mizok when he was standing at the eastern gate of the Beis Hamikdash. Farmer said, 'Lo Elamein Oser Had Sheyebok De Chametz. It doesn't answer until the Isra has enough to make Chametz on its own.' Okay, so he passed in that way, which is like Beis Hill." Talmud today we learned over there. Yain Nesach Aser for Oser B'Choshu. Yain Nesach is Aser, and Aser is uh, no matter how small the shear is. Now there's a catch to that. That's only in wine, not in water. Yain Nesach is bottle in water, but not in wine. Okay, and that's what I was going to discuss. Okay, Chizkiyomar. Kosher Moscow in the Therefore, if you have a cup of wine, which is which has which is a cup of wine which is uh, diluted with water, right? And there's both Isra and Heter in the cup now. Also wine and Mutzer wine. The Nafal Isra, now each one by itself could not create a cup. Remember, according to Ashkenazim, at least the Shira of uh, of dilution is one to six, right? One to six. So you have one part. Wine and six parts water. If it's any more diluted, it's not considered wine anymore. Allah. So let's say half of that one six, one twelfth is also and one twelfth is mutter. Okay. So now, according to Chizki, it depends which fell in first. Kosher Moshe min Isra min Hetter v'Nafal Isra b'Sof. If the Yainessa fell fall in last, so it's Isra. Hetter b'Sof. If the Hetter came in last, it's mutter. Right. So I'm Rabbi Shulbar, and it's like Rabbi Lezri. This is like Rabbi Lezri and Rabbi Mishnah, right? Rabbi Lezri, my achrach on anybody, always look at whatever fermented last. I'm Rabbi Yirmi, and he said, no, chom Rabbi Yain Nesel. Could be Yain Nesel is different. Maybe in Rabbanad would be masking by Yain Nesel to answer if the Yain Nesel came in second. Why? Because Yain Nesel is a special issue. Rabbi Yossi Boim, Chom Rabbi Yain Esach, a few little novel heter, but Sophie also. If you want to say Yain Esach is more, 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 us is to say no matter which fell in first, right? Save the Yain Esach for first, the Yain Heter for him first, it's us regardless. Rabbi Yossi Boshem Rabbi Yochanan said, Kosher Mosko mi Isser ve Heter, a cup which is mixed of Isser and Heter together, at Roes Heter Kamisheno. The truth is, no. You don't look at what fell, ever fell in last. He argues on Chizkia. He says, like Rabban in our Mishnah, we look at the Heter as if it's not there. Also, Isser, and depends if that Isser, meaning if it's one sixth at least, that has a share of dilution, so the, the right, then also. He love Mutzer. I'm Rabbi Yesha. So on that, Rabbi Yesha wanted to say that Chizkia said, Fushinofel Heter Basof, the only time it's Mutter is if it, the Heter fell in last. Right? Because if it fell in last, we're going to be Machmir, just like Chizkia said before. Okay? Rabbi Yesha said, Lo Shani Benov Shinofel Isser Bethkila, that the Basof makes no difference where the Isser fell in first and the Heter last. Let the Bethkila of Isser Basof, where the Heter fell in first and the Isser last. It makes no difference. We ask her regard, uh, or we ask her regardless. No, we ask her regardless because it's Yain Esel, right? I feel a mind uh No, no, we mind her regardless. Look at this. I feel a mind behind, even if it's water and wine. In other words, even if the wine fell in. Uh, even if the wine of Heter fell in first, right? 
and then the wine of the yain nesach fell in first. Feel mind the yain. I feel nimza kol tzorko mina heter. Even if you had fully diluted from the heter and it looked and it was halachically wine, and then the yain nesach fell in, nonetheless that roitz heter can be sheino. You don't look at the heter. Also, isher isher yeshpo v'nosi tam also. You look at the isher. If that is enough to be the sheer of dilution, it's also the lab mutter. If not, it's mutter. We look always completely at the yain nesach. Never look at the mutter wine. Okay, so that's what he's saying. We don't. It's not like a, a, a like chacham in our mishnah. It makes no difference what fell in first. We always look at if there's enough in the sheer and the yain nesach. Omar was here. Was here said hada dat Omar. That which you said here. That it should be bikula with a base. Bikula tenuyin hechavida. Uh, that which you said in all tenuyin here means circumstances. That which you said in all circumstances, we always look at the heters if it's not there, right? We never look at the. We always look at the heters not there. We always look at the iser in and of itself. Hechavida. What's what? How do we work it? What's what's it coming to include? What other case? Give me another case like that. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Bun, Rabbi Avob, Rabbi Yochanan said, "Socha shall yain nesach." I got give you a case like this. Okay, uh, 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 okay even if, in other words, Rabbi Yochanan so makele that even in the following cases makele, "Socha shall yain nesach." You have a a a a vessel of yain nesach. Shenafel to chavish shall yain. It fell into a barrel of wine. And it also the barrel, obviously. Nonetheless, because of enough to borsha mine, if later on that mixture fell into a large well of water, and there's much, much too much water for the shear of dilution, right? Rosa heter can be shay. No, you look at the heter as if it's not there. She she then also iser in yeshbo no sitam also, and we look at the iser if it has no sitam, it's also bim lab mutter. If it's not, it's mutter. So meaning what we pass on the Rabbi Yochanan was that there is no chumer by yain nesach. That means even if it already became also once. It fell, the wine of Isser fell into wine which is Mutter already made him Osser at that stage. If later on they fall into water and the shear of dilution is not there for the Yai Nesach in and of itself, then the whole mixture becomes Mutter. So therefore Yai Nesach, bottom line, is asked to be enough of the Yai Nesach in and of itself to be the proper shear of dilution of the water, otherwise it remains a Mutter. Is that how they matter these uh, single malt scotches? Yeah, that's or how they matter them. Because they look at the, they, the, those who are matter them based on the fact there's not enough wine for the sheer dilution. Yes.